Acids in my nose. <sighs> Menstruation. <laughs> <laughs> Menstruation. <laughs> It's so disgusting. <laughs> it's like this uh, mayonnaise and blood and all this disgusting stuff on like someone's vagina that has a bunch of hair on it. It all mixes in and gets stuck in the hair and it's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. Ew. Ew. Like they make a sound of a beast. Mm. That's what it looks like. Beastly more than like a clean human being. It's gross. Ugh. How can they be those ways in nature and instinct? Then they eat a roast beef sandwich with a bunch of horseradish on it that they put in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I, tried, I tried to do that my dad gave me these roast beef sandwiches and i was thinking about that menstruation <laughs> not i'm not trying to sound like a stand-up comedy but like they're like menstruation it, it's disgusting how can anyone be attracted to someone's private parts that have all that gross stuff on it why would they save their body hair to mix all in with it? I don't know. If they're clean, if they took a shower. And, um, and you know, I went to the, and then so I tried to put a roast beef sandwich in the microwave. And it had these little horseradish things. And the only thing that got warm were the horseradish little packets that were a little bit longer than a regular packet of ketchup. And I put it in the microwave. And it warmed those things up, but it was gross. It, it, this thought of menstruation, like, it doesn't matter how good looking the person is. If that's what they're... Do they have... Under their pants, it's gross if they have that menstruation fluids. <laughs> <laughs> fluids. <laughs> that is disgusting. Can't believe that came out of my mouth. It was like it was already into my body. I'll show you this. Here's what I ate instead. It's cookies. I had chocolate chip cookies. This is a dark one. I haven't had much of it for some reason. Like it felt like my dad got angry. Because he gave me a roast beef sandwich and I was trying to talk to him. Hi. But it's not his fault. He's really kind. He sent me a God and Jesus thing this morning. He's really good. And I was going to eat these roast beef sandwiches and I put them in the microwave. And um, the only thing that got warmed up was these things. Menstruation. And it's awful. And, you know, he likes meat. And he can't help it. And I was going to eat the food. But maybe if it's not like menstruation, then maybe I'll eat it later. Ew. I don't want to right now. It's a shame. Because it costs money at Arby's. So I'm going to put it in here. Ooh. <laughs> Fluids. Look what I uploaded. I filmed on my new 8K movie camera. For some reason it chose that image, but I've changed it since then on my phone. 
Oh, this isn't doing that great. I shouldn't have showed you how my channel statistics. I changed the image of the video to that. Filmed on my new 8K movie camera. I got the end screens. <clears throat> Let's see if the video is high quality. Yeah, of course it's high quality, but if it is it um has it done is it done rendering is it done uploading to where it's in super high quality? Let's go to the quality because I filmed it. It's an 8K video. I want to see if it so far it's only up to 2160p 4K. It's an 8K video, so I gotta wait for it to be it's high, the highest quality. You can upload 8K videos on, on here. No. Here's stuff you can buy of t-shirts that I d designed. I, I have the art from my videos and stuff and it's under my videos. I designed this rhyme to remind myself. No, I don't want to say that. <clears throat> Meant to be. Well, what am I gonna do now? Let's look at the messages. Al Bob. <clears throat> Can you see this? Fluids. He said, well, the idea of going to New Orchard. So that sounds great. He makes typos and he believes that God makes the typos. And I think he did. I think God made those typos. So to him, this means, well, the idea of going to New Orchard, that's a typo. I have no idea what New Orchard is. It's like some new place he's never heard of that sounds fun to go to on a vacation. And and he would he 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 may like to do those kinds of things. He said, That sounds great. I'm in the middle of doing something. There is a county closed down a number of public schools. His typo there meant there is a county that is closed down. He lives like way out in the woods. And there are places around there that may be poor and may be rich. And he says that the rich people went there from California. And and uh, he, he, he says they went there from California, various places where they have a bunch of money. And they went to Tennessee. <laughs> and he was right. Now, I started reading it in the news. And so, um, you know, I thought it was just the place where he lived. But it's all of Tennessee. Steve-O moved there. Steve-O, Kirk Cameron, a bunch of other famous people, Greta Von Fleet, they sound like Led Zeppelin or whatever, this new young band who sounds like Led Zeppelin, uh, well of course Dolly Parton's there, and a bunch of other people. Uh, uh. Hey. I swallowed and it was disgusting, it had like a tiny bit of snot in it. I was trying to act like it's not something good that I like. Yeah. He said, there is a county closed down. A number of public schools closed down too, I guess, and pushed all the kids into, but they have the rich people there, so it's not like it's poor. You know, they have places that are worth a bunch of money too. Their lands worth it, their homes are worth money or whatever. If they bought a home and they live there, you know, that's good. That's nice to them. And they're, and they push the kids into one school and they're out in the middle of nowhere. It's just this little great school, blah, blah, blah. He said he would go to New York with my son. 
like he thinks I'm too old or something now and he thinks that he's cool. That, that's that's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. It doesn't make any sense. I said, oh, cool. Okay. okay. He wouldn't do that. He, he wouldn't say that about my son. I don't know what he meant by that. Why would he go to New York with my son? Weird. That's what his typo said. I said, oh, oh, cool. He likes new fun things, like to feel like he's a teenager, feel young or something like that, even though he's old. And, and he knows I look young too. Sometimes it's too worrisome how young he thinks I look. So it's not like he's, he was bad. I said, oh, cool. Can my dad buy that <coughs> building or community center? They're trying to, he's trying to ha do some fun thing out there in a closed down building or something. I don't know. Now it felt like it was going right to my own butthole, trying to feel good about it. Like I'm actually gay. If I mention that, can my dad buy it or something? I don't know why. Just felt like shit. Why would I want to live? Okay, let's actually look at what my dad said. Bible emergency numbers. These are, this is scripture, whatever. Yeah, he sent that. Who cares? I don't even think anything like that's cool. Buying random houses and acting cool about it. I never got to, well, I used to get to feel good about it. And then now I don't know what's gonna happen. So I don't know, but I own this house, you know? My dad owns so many houses. He has like 30 or 40 houses and he has just as much stock or more stock than he does in houses. And more than 30 of those houses have no mortgage on them. And he has million he has he has money in the bank. So, he has a huge net worth. So it's a little different from like acting like someone's, you know, but they're the people close to me in my life. So, I had to literally right then feel like when I was talking like how great he is like it felt like I was like feeling, trying to feel something to my own butthole as if I really am gay or something. So it's just annoying. But, um, you know, I may, I may literally have $10 million right now. That's how much money my mom and dad have. They have so much more money than we would have thought growing up. You know, they somehow, like 10 years ago, they had $5 million. And I wasn't... I, I, of course I, well, I, it's just ridiculous. And it just went up. I think they, their net worth went up 10 million in one year. And, um, and they're not like super rich, but they have, you know, it's kind of like what famous people have, but not really famous. They don't have like a hundred million but they could maybe get a hundred million or something, but they might have to work with me on something, but they just don't want to. They, they've always stood up for their ways of making money the best as the best ways that they, they did it slowly and steadily with five jobs between my mom and dad. And they have their ways that they believe work. And if you don't want to go along with it, it's almost like it's, it's so hard to live up to their standards, but it's pretty good. So, I may have zero dollars or they may have already written me into a will where I get $10 million or a few, at least a few million or something like that for how much money they have now. So, um, I don't even know if I have any money or not, you know, cause I'm their son and I worked 55 years or something like that, 55 years and I'm only 46. <clears throat> so I had to work really hard. I have some money. I guess I have some money. <laughs> I know I have some money, but I tried to sell this house to go to California because my videos still weren't making enough uh, money on their own. They weren't, I wasn't getting, I, I didn't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may try to put the house back in my name. I put it in my dad's name a little, but um, <clears throat> I have money if I go to, uh, if I go to California. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm supposed to go. 
So now I live for God and Jesus. Now I live for God and Jesus. I don't know if I have any money at all or if I'm a millionaire or even a little more than a, just a millionaire with like a few million dollars or one million dollars or something. I don't know if I have any money. <laughs> I don't know if I have any money at all. And I live for God and Jesus because God knows what's going to happen. God does everything. And you have to live for God's plan, not your own selfish plan, not your own selfish plan. So you know what that means? That means that he might want me to start working a bunch on stuff, no matter how I feel. Maybe. It's happened before, but it's probably not going to happen. I think it may not happen again, but I may have to work. And my dad thinks that, like, it, it's just, I don't know. <clears throat> So I told Danica I'd give her whatever I have, even if, even if I do have some money. But it's weird, like if you have $38 million, like why does my face look so bad with this lighting? Hi, sorry. If you have $38 million, uh, those people may be worried that they that they won't have enough money or something. They don't really know that they, it's like, they're worried that they may lose everything. Because only God knows how much money we'll have at any moment or the next day. You could get an email that says you inherited $40 million. You could get an email that says, uh, what happened to Job? You know, what happened to Job? I'm afraid to show myself from that angle. Because this thing is right here in front of the light in front of my face. And it made my face look bad. <sighs> Hello? And it still looks bad. I don't know why. The lighting on my nose looks bad. I don't like the way it looks. So I can't show myself. I don't like seeing that on camera. I'd rather not see myself on camera. <sighs> So I put the phone down because I can't barely even look at my face. But it's pretty good. It's not like somebody who got in a, in a horrible accident or an accident. <sighs> Made me feel bad. And there are people like Al Bob who he feels like he has no worries and and he does whatever he wants to, and he lives on like $800 a month. $800 a month. And people who have like $1 million or $2 million, about $2 million, $1.4 million or $2 million, they're so worried. Some of them. And some of them are like, this is pretty amazing. They think it's pretty good that they have so much money. Like somebody, I have a friend who's my age, or two years younger than me. He was one of my best friends growing up. I think he has $3 million. And he has 10 rental houses and apartments. <clears throat> he has 10 of them, I think. I don't know if he has any more. And so... If they're worth 140 each, 100 each, or 200 each, it's like $2 million in his rental houses. I don't know if he has stock or whatever. And the thing is about real estate or homes, how is it, what's the condition of those homes? You know, if the, if you sell the, all you have, it's, if you tried to liquidate it, it'd be awful. You'd have way less than you think. So that's what I kind of tried to do to go to California. And I thought I had like $540,000 net worth. And then I kind of tried to liquidate things so I'd have enough money to go to California. And it was so hard to do. I had to study all this real estate. And it was from my investment in my own home that I renovated. And um, that's, a, that's an unusual way to make money because... Generally, a home that you own is a liability. 
your own home that you own is a liability. It costs you money. You have to do repairs, stuff like that. Even if it goes up in value, it's it's called a liability. So that doesn't re that's not really supposed to make as much money as an asset, one that you have as a rental property or or you renovated and then resold. So your own home, if it's literally a liability, well, it's not literally a liability. Well, it's a liability. So why would you even want to own your own home unless you had a special home like I have this home? So, you know, most of those rock stars like Kurt Cobain, uh, Jim Morrison, uh, many of the other ones who, who didn't have long lives <laughs> uh, or did have long lives like Tommy Lee, maybe, I don't know. They, but he's not, they're not the best example. They're not the best role models, but they partied it up. They kicked holes in their walls. They threw beer in the ground. They ruined, they ruined the houses they lived in. They didn't even care. And they just rented some other place and went to some rich hotel they stayed at that wasn't even that expensive. 400 something a night, 380 a night. Maybe they got a deal for 280, 260 a day. And they just lived there at the Hollywood Roosevelt when it went, when it was really cheap to stay. But there, the rooms are at least 300 a night, the cheapest, smallest ones. And they stayed in their cool big room there and they're like, hey, 550 a night or whatever. And that's how they lived. Like Jim Morrison. When you look at Kurt Cobain's house, it's this small little, it's this small little, <laughs> he has a, he has a small little house in the Hollywood Hills, like right next to neighbors where you can hear the neighbors. And it's just like, who would even, like every house in Los Angeles, it's like so hard to find one that, that really has acres on it. Cause it's in a big city and it's not like New York, but the houses are really amazing. And some of them are, some of them, nobody really drives around there and and it's like as if you're the only one there, so it must be pretty good. But it's still not like my house here at this mountain, where there's two thousand acres with only a f with only a few neighbors. There's two thousand acres with only a few neighbors. Check this out. This is why I liked it. Yeah. I'm trying to unlock the door. See, But there's like somebody here, maybe, or maybe not. Hello. So it's pretty good. And usually the sun comes out and it's really beautiful and you hear the sounds of nature and stuff. It's not like it's like quiet and boring as this. <clears throat> Hello. So I don't know if I have any money or not. <laughs> I, I kind of do though. I think I do have some money if I need it as an emergency, but I don't have it in the bank. I don't have like cash in the bank. That's the problem is that I don't have access to much. I don't have, well, I get money every month. Like I get $5,200 a month and I have a wife and kids. So there are five of us and 5,200 is not that much for five people. So, you know, Danica makes money on YouTube. Danica makes money at videos. And the thing is that our mom, our mom, our mom and dad, well, her mom and dad and my mom and dad somehow are like really rich or something or kind of rich. They're not really rich. So, you know, when people say super rich, that's kind of like more than $300 million to billions of dollars. That's super rich. And I don't think they have a trillionaire. Yet, but I think Jeff Bezos is getting there. He may have a trillion dollars. I don't know. He doesn't really, you know, if you look up his net worth, it may not say, but I think, but it shows the, the value of Amazon. And I think it's a few trillion, a few trillion dollars. So if he owns that, 
you know, he may have a trillion dollars or two trillion dollars or something, like 1.4 trillion or something. <laughs> why are they, why are they not stay with their wife? If they have, but they can't help it because they're like us. They're even, <laughs> you know, like people make mistakes and sin, but he, he got a divorce from his wife, but he already got to raise his kids with her. And I think Jeff Bezos is, is okay. But if you haven't met them, we don't know what they're really like. <laughs> I don't know. So I guess I'm going to go like this guitar is the main acoustic guitar that I play. And it was only $168. It's a Gibson Epiphone. It was literally $168. It's not like I play some like $2,000 acoustic or something. This is $168. Oops. But it's a Gibson Epiphone. I'm going to keep it probably. So, yeah, I was almost going to get a Gibson Les Paul, a real Gibson Les Paul, but I thought I better start saving a little money in case, I don't know, so I can maybe go to Texas, I was going to say, but maybe I can just get her and the kids to move here. Yeah, I'm going to go. Okay, bye. Praise God, praise Jesus. This is John Birmingham. Hi, check out my movies. My actual work that's really good is like pretty much my movies and some of my videos and the God's work that I did that I did that I do every day, talking to others, being humble. I'm different in person than you may think. I'm not like really confident or something. I'm one of those jerks. I don't make those sounds of instinct in nature like a beast or something the way men are. That pe how people think men are. Some men are who sin. I don't do those. I don't have any of that. I don't, <laughs> I don't act that way in nature. You know, I try to not act like a beast. You're supposed to not act like a beast or a creature. <clears throat> Man, you have sex. Man, I swear to me, body hair on. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, but it, sometimes I have body hair, and it, I just I try to shower so it's not gross. But if I couldn't shower, I just feel like I try to be without sin. <clears throat> But maybe they're le maybe they're less sinful than I am. Oh, Mishka Michael Solanovich was here last night, and I gave him a really good Canon camera, a can uh, uh, Canon movie camera. Here's my new one. Here's my new Canon movie camera. It's a, this is my 8K movie camera, and I gave him. Uh, it's too bad this wasn't plugged in. The little um. Well, it, it's simple. All you do is plug this in for the microphone to work. I thought you had to go in the settings and change it, but it just wasn't pushed in all the way. And then I had to do all this technical stuff to get it to film in 8K. And now you just film in 8K. It's easy. You just film and it's in 8K. I have the settings all ready to film in 8K. I, I downloaded the, this additional software for the editing system so you can read the strange files that it saves in 8K that, you, that are hard to, um, you can't even play them in iMovie. And they're like these really high quality 8K things and did all this stuff for it. Now it films in 8K. And then Mishka showed up and then I gave him my old, really good, good movie camera. Um, my other DSLR and it's still worth some money. And I gave it to him with a, with a, um, fisheye lens on it. And he sat here last night and we left the door open and you could hear the country bugs and it was so fun and he's like from a different time and he's so fun to be around and he didn't want me to film him for some reason it's too I, I really like to film him he's in some of my videos look up michael solanovich michael solanovich and um it, it was really fun to be around him i farted on the stupid little gnats See those little bugs that go to fruit, fruit flies? 
They had all left, all the fruit flies, and then, because <laughs> I cleaned it up really well, and then my mom brought over food, all this really good tasting, good kinds of food, like cookies and and um and and, and various things, and and uh, club soda, uh, seltzer water, and um and I got to eat a bunch of it. I was so I was so alone. I was eating the same food after she brought the food over I put it in the refrigerator so it was okay and I didn't even think about it and I was sad and I went back to eating the same food that I had that I didn't feel like eating and then I was like hey I'm just gonna eat what I feel like of the good food she brought over and it was really healthy um and I ate it ate the food but I didn't eat the roast beef sandwich and my dad brought the food to my house and he looked at the window that I installed downstairs I installed a window because the bear broke a window and I installed it myself. You want to see in case it didn't uh, in there. Okay. I gave Mishka this lens, Michael Solanovich, this cool lens and it's called Mike. <laughs> I had just gotten it. I thought it was a really like super good quality, like um, like this twenty thousand uh, dollar fisheye lenses for really good movie cameras, and that's that's why it was so hard to do the work for the for the um. The bears. I hope the bear's not in there. No, nah, he would have broken out all this one of the, some crazy ass thing. And, then the hunters would get them. Look, I installed this window. I literally installed this myself. I literally installed that window. It's a miracle. I did a good job of it. I installed that. It's a miracle. I put one little screw in that to put this stupid thing on after I was done. can use trim on it from the outside to look more finished. Those are the old windows that I had put in there that I found around here. When I got to this house, these had no windows on it. It was wide open to the air. It was so crazy in here when I first got to this house. Hi. And, um, so there's no bear in there, but I'm just going to close the door, but I can use the bathroom now and not worry about the bear. Like he went in there and took this food. It's in one of my videos. And, and so I wonder if that's an 8k video yet. Oh, and so I gave Michael Solanovich this lens too. <clears throat> it says Mike with my really good Canon 5D Mark II uh, movie camera. I gave it to him for free as a present to do God's work. Oh, but the best thing was that my dad was here yesterday. He sat there, I think it was yesterday, early in the day, or the day before, yeah, yeah it was yesterday. And then Mishka showed up later, but my dad was there and I got to talk to him and I sat there, he was here, I told him I had slept there, this was just from by myself before, <coughs> and I sat here, I was sitting here, <coughs> I was sitting here, and he was there. When I shave my face, I think I look really good. Hey, this looks pretty good. If this is how good I looked right to my dad's face, 
That's pretty strange. Right when he showed up, I heard his car pulling up in the driveway and I woke up from, cause I had been asleep. I was asleep to catch up on sleep. Ugh. And he didn't want, you know, I don't know. I think he's been sleeping more too for some reason, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. During the day, he used to wake up early. And um, so he woke up and then I had to use the bathroom where I woke up before I could even get the door. So he had to wait outside, but he wasn't waiting outside. I didn't know what he was doing, but I had to use the bathroom. And I used the bathroom a bunch for like, I don't know. And, and I went downstairs and it made me look really skinny and in shape and like really good looking or something. And I put these jeans on that I hadn't worn since I don't know when, because I didn't want to have these like shorts. I didn't want to have these sh like short shorts on because I thought he'd think, oh, why does he have to look at me in these little shorts, like those shorts? And so I put these jeans on and then I felt like really cool and good looking, like some good looking jeans. And I, and, and for some reason, I, for some reason I had to show up that way, looking that way to him, right to his face. And when before I was like worried, he thought I was like some random young person who looked good or something. He was trying to act younger than my age, but I looked really good anyway. I looked really good anyway. I don't know. This doesn't look that good right now. The shadow, I was trying to change it, but, um. So, but I didn't try to act like way too young, like 32 or something like that. Like some random Marvel young guy or something. And I didn't do that. I just happened to look really good. And I had to act really kind and nice and try to not act like an it, like the really cool, good looking guy. And I was like, no, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. And, <laughs> but, uh, I didn't, you know do anything that bad I was I didn't act like a little nerd who talked that way I was nice about it and for some reason I showed up looking really good I'm like right now I'm trying to film myself looking really good but it's because he was right there somehow he helped me to feel better and look better and be more good looking or something really strange because I don't know how I felt that way around him and then before he was here I didn't in particular feel that good looking or anything like that but I, I have lost weight. When I lose weight, um, my face looked young. It usually, it looked younger. Unless I, you know, some people look worse when they lose weight. But for me, I look, I look better. I looked better. And so he was there, sat in a chair, and I sat here. I talked to him about stuff. I walked around first a bunch before I sat down when he was sitting in that chair. And, and he... I don't know why I kept standing there and then I sat down and then <clears throat> and they he gave me all his food the um cookies and different stuff and uh And now I'm all alone. And it's actually darker in here. But the iPhone makes it look brighter, I think. I don't know. And maybe if it focuses for that window, you can tell how dark it really looks. I mean, maybe if it does the exposure or whatever. So I'm sitting here now. I'm wondering, I don't want to check that YouTube video. Too selfish to work on a video. I, I better just sit here. I got to do this stuff. I got to do this really important stuff. Well, for me, I better not worry about it. He told me I could take out those 
he told me I could uh, open up those windows. And I said, yeah, they have screens. Uh, see, the bugs wouldn't come in. It was peaceful. It's so easy filming on an iPhone and uploading. It's so easy filming on an iPhone and uploading. When you film on a DSLR, well, no, I don't know. Don't film on a DSLR. It's like easy to film on an iPhone. <laughs> Unless you do really high quality movie stuff. And the Canon movie camera wasn't that, ex wasn't that expensive. So it was a way that if I did all the firmware and software stuff and all that kind of stuff then it looks like a real movie of today they film in 8k 12k that's generally the highest quality is 8k and 12k i think 12k is the super expensive big budget ones but they also film on 4k sometimes for the same movie depending on the camera they use um generally 8k 12k maybe 6k those are real movies of today. And in the 2000s, it was still 2K. <laughs> Literally the resolution. And, and, and all movies before then were about 2K. That's 35 millimeter motion picture film. About 2K, I think. It may have been a little less quality than that, but I don't know. But that's all you really need for the human eye to see in a theater and on a huge screen in the theater you don't really need 8k but uh if that's the standard and that's the movie camera i got upstairs i can film real movies again so if i work on them hard enough i, I can film a movie but it takes it, it, it it's it, it's it's a tremendous amount of work to really make it look really professional and good or it takes time and you have to know are you going to make your money back from that much real work and uh i don't know i may just make movies because i was doing videos instead and i filmed 2000 videos 2300 videos and i have more hours of content of quality content with me as the star than any other human being on earth that's how much i filmed I look kind of strange. And so that's how hard I worked at videos, but I was thinking maybe just make movies instead. But it's so empty feeling right now. I don't have love at home once they left. And I miss Danica and it's just I don't know what to do without her and the kids. It's been really not that good feeling. It's been not that good feeling at all. I like having her and the kids. And everything's okay. If I'm worried or something, I could hug her. And she can look old, young, doesn't matter to me. She doesn't have to look that young. I wonder what the statistics are on how long people live, but the only it doesn't matter if we look them up or not because people can die anyway. Um, on well, see. God knows when they'll live or die. We will live or die. God knows when we'll die or live. When we'll live or die. God knows. We don't know. We don't know, but God knows. God knows. He literally knows everything. <clears throat> we don't know how long we're going to live or die. 
we don't know how long we're going to live or die. We, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know how long we're going to live or how long we're going to suffer or how long we're going to feel good or feel bad or what we'll have to go through on earth at any time. It, 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 things can be different than you ever would have thought. You may think that you know how things have been going and it's going to be okay and oh this is well this is generally how it kind of is and because of that you may have you may be a prophet you may be a prophet you may have some prophetic ability from God and it's special and that's why you feel like you know those things This is a kind of long video. This is this may be considered a feature film length. Say hey, she won't. She ain't she won't. So, why did I feel like I looked really good when I got into this chair? It's embarrassing that I looked that good around my dad. I thought I just acted however God wants me to act. And now I was acting like I look really good and cool and stuff. Because God made me feel that way. And God let me know that my dad is kind and good. So I got to feel like happy and good about my own stupid little ways of Krista Krista, let me tell you about Chippy. <laughs> Krista, let me tell you about Chippy. <laughs> My sister had growing up, there are these kids who like said mean things to her. And one was named Chippy. Chippy. They'd say, ha <laughs> ha. They say mean things to her. They're mean. Yeah. That's how they talk. Christ, it's chippy. <laughs> I don't know. And that was in the 80s. Up to, I don't know, 92. I don't even want to think about the 90s. The 90s were not that great for me. Maybe up to 90 was okay. And then we moved and I had to change schools and I just didn't, I, I'd like to, i like to have never been a part of that. I may move because of it. I may not live here anymore. Unless I get my wife and kids. Then it's like I have no problems. And of course I like this house. So I may have to leave. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's a worry here and there. I've had to think about people from back in my hometown who when I was in California, it was like, I never have to talk to him or think about him again from how bad my life felt. I felt like the least of all. And by the time I left town to California when I was 19, I just felt like not that good looking, not confident. And I was still pretty confident. I just didn't know. I must've had body dysmorphic disorder or something. I didn't know. 
and I fit right in with all my friends with plenty of them and uh, knew most all of them or something, I don't know. I don't know where I'll live because this house is so good and it literally cost $102,000 and it's the same as like a movie star's house you know a really famous person and I'm kind of a movie star well I'm a movie I starred in movies so to say you're a movie star is not that big you have to be a star or and, and or famous you have to, and I am a star and I am famous but to say that you're famous is not really like a, an A-list uh uh, superstar, superstar, I think happened to read this like yesterday, uh, or, or so yesterday, I think they said a superstar is in the top 5,000 or 10,000, wait, 10,000 to 20,000, the top 10,000 to 20,000, I don't know. maybe a superstar because once if they were number one in the in the 1980s or or, or 70s or, or 90s or 2000s uh if they were number one then and then now they're 20,000 <coughs> I don't know they'd be more like 4,000 I don't know they may be 8,000 they may not be as popular and so, um, you kind of have to become a superstar if you want guaranteed, pretty much guaranteed work the rest of your life at the work that you do the best. If, if that's the kind of work that you like to do that God wants you to do, like acting or stuff like that, that they got famous for or making movies or whatever they were actually good at doing. if the other work makes you feel bad unless you like the other work and then then you can do that but you may be incapacitated or totally different from anything that has anything to do with any of those things but to say you're famous is not like that it's not that hard to do it's pretty much guaranteed if you work at it long enough do you know that you're pretty much guaranteed to be famous if you work at those things long enough and work at them diligently enough and, you know, after enough work at it, you're going to be famous. But fam what is famous? That's like 12% of them get that, get to be famous, I think. 12% of actors, rock stars, people like that, or musicians get to be famous. So it's not that hard to do if you work at it long enough. And you have to be really good at your work. <clears throat> so God has to pretty much make give you abilities at it. And if you keep working at it, you can't just like totally give up. But God may have a different plan for you. God may want you to give up. And then God may get you to do more of it another time. Or somehow you get famous without... Like there are some famous people like Judy Garland who happened to be born into a showbiz family and she didn't know any different and she maybe was in a couple things acting a few things or whatever and they just made her the number one star of the biggest movie that's ever so far so far the biggest movie ever the wizard of oz this most famous one who's had the most influence on society and everyone through movies is i think as an actress is judy garland for the biggest role as a young person who starred in things in one of the biggest movies ever or the b biggest best so far <laughs> so she just happened to be born into a family that kind of did it i don't know how rich or famous or elite they were but um sometimes you, i mean you can just be in the right place at the right time and you get discovered or i wrote a book on it I wrote a book on how to get famous, but it's a, it's only a few pages long and I'm going to illustrate, I have illustrations for it. And so, so I can, um, 
so I can make illustrations, so I can make illustrations and have it like a, a book with, uh, with, um, cartoons in it and stuff. Or I can use images from my own movies that I own the rights to. I can go back on, look, look back at 2,300 videos, 2,000 hours of, of, finish, of, 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 uh, 2,000 hours of footage of uh, 2,000 hours of films and videos you can use images from any of that to illustrate the story I wouldn't even have to draw anything <laughs> so that's how long I've been doing that stuff but I didn't start doing that much quantity and quality until I was at this house and I filmed more quantity instead of my actual films because it had something to do with Al. But then Al filmed these longer videos and that got me to film longer videos instead of... But some of my videos are really good quality. Some of my best work I've ever filmed was at this house. Like, um, Jesus Christ, Amen. day -o. Today is how we pray to Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, wait. And that song. And um, that's one of my best music videos because it's about God and Jesus, even though it may not be my best work ever, but it's really good work. It's some of my best work. <coughs> and I filmed that music video here and somewhere else. And... Looks pretty good. And I film these documentaries. They have really good editing and filming. Really good filming and editing at this house. And you can watch them all on my channel. Or I don't know. That that's kind of cool. That's it. That that that's fun to me to think that uh people are gonna start looking back at my work and watching marath watching um watch watching a bunch of my videos <laughs> like they discover my work and they look back at my videos <laughs> there are people are starting to do that there's at least two of them who have written to me and and they they just showed up uh, uh, and they and they write these big long comments and they say that they write they watch a bunch of my videos my older videos i know there's one who did it and another one and they look back at these videos that I filmed that I hadn't thought of in so long. And I filmed so many videos that, like, there are these, you know, this is this is all about me. This is me talking about myself. How can I think of others? You know, I got to talk more about me and be selfish because I gave Michael Solanovich that special movie camera that I filmed movies on and stuff. And I gave him the entire movie camera so I got to talk about me 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 uh, I shouldn't uh, uh. so the miracle is that I got to eat food But there are two unresolved problems. I'd like to be with Danica and the kids. But for some reason, God had me here near my mom and dad. God had me here near my mom and dad. <clears throat> who I only see once every... Two weeks. <sighs> Menstruation. How awful. Is it? I hope the ro <laughs> I hope the roast beef sandwiches don't get ruined. Menstruation. A period. <laughs> A period. Hey, 
the hair didn't look that great. <laughs> Period blood. <laughs> and I acted like it. I got the anxiety like it was wiping out of my mouth onto me. I shouldn't have, <laughs> I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said Period blood. Oh, I just got out of my mouth. <laughs> no, no, I itched my eye. I was itching my eye. Uh, we don't play home. No. I don't want to be like the Dukes of Hazard guy. His wife died. <clears throat> Maybe if Danica would just move here. Yo. But the iPhones of today are about the same as they were seven years ago. <clears throat> they just, they film in higher quality and they have better internet. That's pretty much the only difference. And they have a bigger hard drive. They're the basic, it's the same as an iPhone from actually almost 10 years ago. They're about the same. Actually, they're the same since the iPhone 4. The iPhones have been about the same, but they make them a little bit bigger. I wish they'd make them even bigger. Like a Hummer H2, that was an actual cool car because it was so huge. You know, it was like different from other cars. It was like really big. And then they started making them small. Why? I don't know. I guess the, I would drive one small and one if I, you know, it's at least a Hummer, it's okay. But I thought the huge Hummers were really cool. And a phone that's really big. Like if they made a phone that was like, real if they if the, a rectangle shape if they made a really big phone but that's kind of what an ipad is so you could just get an ipad and it act like it's a really big phone and bring it around with you everywhere get get a, a phone number on it get you get a real phone number with it like it's a big phone you just carry it every <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. Those are expensive sometimes. The iPads, they might be 24, they might be $2,400 or $2,200. Or you could get them for, you know, a hundred bucks, 200, $400 or a hundred bucks or whatever. I don't know. But the hundred dollar tablets it depends on what you use it for. If you're not making videos with it, then who cares? You could have a a, a phone that costs thirty dollars. But to say that is like I thought about my friend who has like three million dollars. And he would make a joke of it if it was like a $30 phone. Like, why would you get one so crappy? But he was right. He was right. <laughs> and, uh, no. But some people, he's like, I think he has the most money that he can see in assets and cash and stuff like that. He has the most money of it that he can actually see and knows he has more than anyone we grew up with who I, who I know of. He has about $3 million. So they may not be that rich. I have another friend who thinks he has like one or $2 million dollars. He probably does, but I don't know. But if he had to sell his stuff, who knows what he'd really have. 
So that's a miracle that I actually had to try to sell my stuff to have enough money to make it in California. And then um, my dad, instead, the house went into my dad's name because I tried to sell it to him just to get to leave. And because the real guy, some guy was going to, I don't know. Because God had a better plan. God has a better plan for us. So I don't know if I have zero dollars or... Actually, well, I don't know. Right now, all the money I have to my name right now is probably four dollars or twenty dollars. No. Yeah, I may have four dollars or twenty dollars or negative twenty dollars or thirty or forty dollars. That's all the money I have to my name right now. But I may be a wealthy elite. I, I, I'm a wealthy elite. So I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't really understand why. But if you look at like the money I'm making every month from working at homes for... I really had to do the work on homes. I think I'm the I think I'm the most successful one of any of us our age. And if my dad and mom wrote me into a will, you know, they're probably I think they may live to be a hundred and three. I think they may live to be like a hundred or something. They're doing really well these days. We don't know you know my dad looked healthy yesterday. My mom is really healthy. <clears throat> she can dance, ride a bike. She can probably jog. She's literally that healthy. My dad, he swims. So, I don't know if I'll die before I see any of that, the money that I might have gotten from them or not. Hey, 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 you strong alone guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go put the strong alone guy mask on. I filmed all this without editing. Whoa, I better shut up. Hey. Strong lone guy. <gasps> that sounded scary. Hey, you know, I'm nice. No, it looks a little creepy. I gotta use the bathroom. Let's turn the feed back on, on the guitar as a sound. I let Mishka play his guitar. He at one time took lessons. He knew melodies. Let's turn these cool lights on this guitar that I showed him.
Hi guys. It's Strong Alone Guy. Hey. You know, I'm here at home, uh, seeing how, oh, seeing how I like to be at home. You know, I got really strong, uh, I'm pretty strong. I don't know. Maybe not. I was strong. Let me tell you about things, how my life was. Uh, uh, so, hey guys. <laughs> oh, pretty funny, right? Oh, my skin. Uh, oh, this is a mask. If you saw what my real face looks like, you'd see I'm really strong and alone. But this looks good too. Sometimes I wear this. Uh, I, I don't have much to say. I gotta go. It's time to go. I feel awful. Okay. Here's what my face looks like. Praise Jesus. Oh no. This looks sad. Some people have a burned face look like this. I wonder if I can make a burn face look. It's pretty sad. Oh. Everybody cries. Even if you have a, no a really normal looking face or whatever, everybody gets sad and cries. They can do face transplants now and surgery and stuff, but don't worry about it. Hey, hair looks really bad. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hair looks really bad for some reason. Praise God, praise Jesus. <laughs> At least I have it. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Believe in God and Jesus and you'll be saved. Okay. Strong alone guy. You can get this mask somewhere. You can find these masks. They look weird. Okay. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Bye. This is probably going to be a thing of the past. They're going to look really weird in the future. They're going to have plastic surgery that looks so like somebody is really still young and doesn't look fake my hair looks so bad right now but i'm grateful i'm thankful i have hair okay i'm gonna go okay praise god praise jesus bye <laughs> okay believe in god and jesus with all you have read about god in the bible god loves you more than anyone will ever love you god is love all the love comes from god so it's better to learn more about god and love god with all you have and Live for God and Jesus with all you have. Okay, bye.